the last two seasons. Uh, I think mostly the, the play without the puck. Uh, I feel like I'm uh, reading the game better and I'm uh, using my body more to my advantage. And, um, and uh, yeah. And also, uh, I mean, I get to play with the great players too, so uh, uh, that helps a lot too. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to play there, probably not, but uh, I mean, it's nice. I played the center, uh, I think, half season, last season, so uh, I'm not too good on film. Uh, I'm a little bit used to like the playing center, so I felt pretty good. What stands out to you about how Mitch is playing right now? This goal streak, eight straight games, uh, six eight. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, he's playing good every night. He's on the puck, and he's skating, and he's... He's doing everything, so uh, it's, I mean, and it's it's nice to see him uh, scoring a lot of goals too. Do you sense? Do you feel that when a guy's on a heater, like is this even off the ice? You got that sense around him? Yeah, yeah I, you, I mean, you can feel he's on fire. He's, uh, I mean, everywhere he goes, the puck follow him, and uh, I mean, you can almost feel that he's gonna score. Like, I mean, he's scoring. If he doesn't score the goal, he's gonna he's gonna pass to it. So, what do you learn about from from being around Jason? He's got like. He's oozes hockey knowledge, right? He's pick, talking about, about junior hockey players right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You learn being <laughs> uh, I mean, he always got some advice on the bench. Like, if we don't uh, figure it out right away, he got some tips that we take to us and we figure it out. And uh, I mean, it's just, you just feel confident like playing with him because he's so calm on the ice with the puck and everything. So, uh, yeah, I think he, he teaches me a lot uh, more often on the ice. Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I prefer playing on the wing. I think I'm better on the wing. Uh, but if they need me on the center, I'll play center. But um, yeah, I would definitely say wing. I think if you play center, you got to take a little bit more responsibility in this zone. And I think as a winger, you're more, you can use your speed a little bit more. Uh, I mean, it's, it's different. Like if you. If you set, get play center, you get the puck uh, down low, and then you get the speed that way. But as a wing, I think you're more start and stop, and like uh, that kind of speed. I think. And how much, how many, com how much conversation do you have with Sheldon over the last few years, and go back to most of them now uh, about your own development and things you need to do to be the kind of player you become? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously every year, I think every player like talks to them, like. Uh, what they expect from them and what they see them uh, going as players, and um, and then uh, obviously you have your your own thing, how you see yourself going to play and, and get to the next level and get better, and uh, you you just talk it through and and, and uh, figure out what you what the goal is. Your line wants to obviously bring energy uh, every night. Is it a little tougher when there's not as many fans in the building, and does it help when Wayne does what he does and drops the gloves? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we, even if it's no, no, I mean, obviously it's easier when it's fans in the building, and I think everybody feels that, like, you get extra push, uh, especially, like, if, you, if you're down one goal, you can, you can feel the energy coming, like, you, you get the extra push, uh, but uh, for our line, I think we, we're doing it, uh, do the best we can, like, we, uh, yeah. Did the Wayne fight? Yeah, that was good. I mean, I think everyone was pumped up for it. Uh, especially, I think it was like a little bit dirty hit too. So I think uh, that he stepped up for the team, and I think that uh, like the whole team, they they feel it.